Hey yo, what is going on viewers of the tube? My name is Tyler and get ready for a crypto episode where just like watching a Rube Goldberg, you just might be confused on where exactly this is going. But if you stick around till the end, those crumbs just might lead to that golden booty. You know our treasure map. It's time for Chico Crypto. Yes, today is a super crummy episode, digging into the crypto projects that are building the future of enterprise data and applications on the blockchain. Yes, these are the big corporations like Microsoft, Intel, Alibaba, Baidu, IBM, Banco Santander, Ernst & Young, and so many more. These big dogs all have expressed their interest in blockchain applications and helping to build a future that is decentralized. And there are many blockchain projects out there that claim to have a single partnership with an enterprise. It was a common occurrence in 2017. Blockchain Project X has a partnership with Enterprise Y, yet it's 2019 and for the majority of the projects with claimed partnerships, nothing has been built. Although if you look close enough and sift through the BS across the space, you find one certain blockchain that is connecting back to all the enterprises and everyone is building on top of it. That project is Ethereum. And if you doubt that, let me break it down for you. Have you ever heard of the Ethereum Enterprise Alliance, EEA? Well, you should be aware of this as the most revolutionary and groundbreaking enterprise focused applications will be coming from the EEA and its members. So what is the EEA? It's a member led industry organization whose objective is to drive the use of the Ethereum blockchain tech as an open standard to empower all enterprises. And the EA is comprised of all those big names mentioned earlier, plus hundreds more, including Hyperledger, Accenture, Bank of New York Mellon, Citigroup, FedEx, ING Bank, JP Morgan, LG, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Standard Chartered Bank, and oh, so many more. It was founded in February of 2017 with just 30 members. John Wolper, EA Working Group member, co-founder of Hyperledger Fabric and IBM Blockchain, gives a good summary of what the EA is about to accomplish. Let's listen in on the conversation with Intel's Sanjay Bashki and an Ethereum core developer just last month regarding EEA working groups. And, and you know, distracting the community can be, uh, you know, you have to pick your timing. The, I think what's exciting is that 2020, 2021 look to be shaping up with ETH 2.0 as um, the, the moment where we can contemplate a, a little bit wider variety of scope in terms of requirements and non-functional requirements and functional requirements. And now is the time for us to be able to, and if we can do it in a focused way where we're not overtaxing the community's ability to focus on stuff because we can say, hey, here's the thing, it's coherent, it's well-written, um, lots of companies want it, here's why they want it, um, that, that's, that's gonna go a little bit farther. So it's, you know, it, this isn't 2015, it's 2019. So 2015 was the time enterprises wouldn't go near blockchain. 2017 was the realization that they wouldn't be able to survive into the future without blockchain. 2018 and 2019 have been the time to build. Like John said, it's time. And by 2020 and 2021, we will see the mass adoption. Now, there are many blockchain projects involved with the EA, as it's a membership and industry group connecting those working on blockchain technology with those companies looking for blockchain adoption. You submit an application, it is reviewed, and if accepted, you pay your dues and your company's name gets added to the list. Just being a member of the EEA doesn't necessarily mean you're working on anything big, as many projects use it for prestigious status, even though they aren't working on anything for enterprises. To figure out who's actually building the big things, it takes a little more deep diving into the EEA and their working groups. Yes, that talk with John and Sanjay just last month was regarding EEA mainnet working groups. John explains its goal. That's not the only domain of this work, right? It's really the serious use of of the mainnet in business and both preparing the mainnet and making sure that the mainnet is structured in a way that it works the way that um, 
people need it to work for business, for especially for private confidential business to business relationships, um, where you have to worry a lot about um, leaking strategic intelligence to other parties. Yes, it is getting the Ethereum mainnet ready for enterprise adoption, especially with secure, confidential and private business information. So who are the EA working groups and who is working on what in regards to what John is tall talking about? Well, we just need to go to the EEA working group leadership for each area. We all know the trusted execution environments, TEE, while Jean-Charles Kabelguin of iExec RLC is the chair of this. Technical specification has Banco Santander and Sanjay of Intel on it. EA mainnet has Virgil Griffith of the Ethereum Foundation, John Wolpert, York Rhodes of Microsoft, and of course, Ernst & Young. This EEA mainnet group is the first time a collaboration between the Ethereum Foundation and Enterprises is happening at this scale. Now the working groups, what have they actually built? There's two technical documents released, the EEA Enterprise Ethereum Client Specification V4 and the Off-Chain Trusted Compute Specification V1.1. I've gone through the off-chain trusted compute specification before, and iExec is heavily involved with that, basically writing the entire specification in collaboration with Intel. But there's also the Ethereum client v4, which blockchain projects are involved with that? Well, iExec once again, and at the very end, OneChain. Hmm. But in this documentation, we can get an idea of what working groups will be formed. Although predicting the future is known to be difficult, as well as ongoing quality enhancement, future work on this specification is expected to include the following aspects. Private transaction implementation, agreement on a BFT consensus algorithm, off-chain and trusted compute APIs, cross-chain interoperability, tracking developments, and the requirements for enterprise Ethereum blockchains. Now, John Wolpert has an architecture of enterprise adoption on blockchain, and it's called the Magic Bus. It's the notion of using the Ethereum mainnet as a global integration hub. With the adoption of Ethereum 2.0, business integration will be treated like work groups or channels on Slack, easy to create, combine, and recombine. Your SAP inventory management system, your supplier's JD Edwards ERP system, and your fancy fintech partner's blockchain singamajig can work together in a consistent, repeatable manner without having to set up new infrastructure to accommodate each of the partners. These are words from John regarding the Magic Bus vision. Now, through some internet sleuthing, I found a Roger Fang article on Medium, making smart contracts work for business, how Chainlink, ZK Snarks, and Charting finally delivered the holy grail. Well, John Wolpert retweeted this. Well, crap, at Wolf Heroic, aka Roger Fang, wrote a better blockchain magic bus manifesto with architectural detail than I could have myself in a week of Sundays. So I decided to dive into this. And of course, it has Chainlink in the title. We so stanky. Well, the article is amazing. Although a little link bias, it's included in the description if you wanna get an idea of what is coming regarding enterprise adoption of blockchain. But who besides Chainlink does this article talk about? Well, if you watch my live stream over the weekend, you got the hint, Enigma. Here's a quote from John in the article. By 2020, the concept of public versus private blockchain networks will be relegated to a historical footnote. We will not pit public networks against private networks. Instead, there will be public transactions and private transactions, confidential contracts and open contracts, and they will coordinate their scope across bilateral, multilateral, and public environments depending on the needs of users, just as messages today pass between private and public environments using common internet protocols. And who is creating the private transactions and confidential contracts on Ethereum? Enigma is. From the article, property one is privacy of both the Oracle service and the public blockchain platform. Guy Ziskind, the founder of Enigma, famously quipped in his MIT thesis that smart contracts will only be useful for real world business cases if they can become secret contracts. He went on to suggest ZK Snarks and trusted execution environments as the most likely solutions. He was dead right. And with the Istanbul fork coming on December 4th, it brings major gas reductions for ZK Snarks and Starks, making layer two solutions more performant, like Enigma. But what about the trusted execution environments, TEEs? What are they? 
They are isolated hardware enclaves that allow code to run with the guarantee of it being tamper-proof and complete privacy, even for the machine running the code. The most well-known TEE is Intel's SGX. We all know iExec and Intel are working closely with this as they have developed an end-to-end -end trusted execution environment, which became specification for the EEA off-chain trusted compute. Then we found out Chainlink was also involved with it in early October from Intel's blog post about the trusted compute framework, Chainlink and iExec once again. But the forgotten one is Enigma. Back in June of 2018, their collaboration was announced for private and secure smart contracts and they have actually been talked about and presented on stage by Intel Vice President of Software and Services Group, Rich Echivaria. Developers are exploring off-chain computing as a means to address the security, the scalability, and the privacy issues that I highlighted earlier, especially for something that Jacob mentioned earlier, smart contracts. And that's one of the areas that we are collaborating in. Smart contracts that can be run simultaneously on multiple machines is one of the benefits of doing them off-chain. Again, accelerating throughput. And smart, smart contracts that execute inside of secure enclaves enable us to better protect keys and protect data. So that's really what's behind our interest in smart contracts. And yesterday, I, I announced a number of collaborations. Today's no different. One of the innovation partners in this area of off-chain computing for us is Enigma. Intel and Enigma have announced a collaboration to identify and address a number of different use cases to help solve some significant industry challenges, including those related to areas like identity and healthcare. Enigma is using our technology, including Intel SGX, in their privacy protocol. This is allows enhancements for data privacy and protection. And Enigma smart contracts are kept and work inside of hardware-based enclaves, adding security, while still allowing computations on privacy-sensitive data. We expect the collaboration with Enigma to bring to public ledgers and many other ledgers the enhanced privacy and security that we deliver today with private blockchains. That's our intent in this collaboration with Enigma. Although this partnership has been quiet since it was announced, with many people wondering if it's still alive. Of course it is. Just a few months ago, Guy was with Intel's security team and other leading companies focused on improving SDX and building privacy solutions. Enigma has had some slight delays with their testnet and mainnet, and it should have never been announced if it wasn't 100% ready in early 2019. Well, they have learned from that, and Guy gave us some details about the road ahead in a community call posted just a few days ago. So as you all know, we've been pretty much keeping our heads down, developing and just building our network. I, I, I can't even start to explain how deeply complicated and well-written the network that we've been building is. Uh, as you know, in 2018, we had our first revision that was stateless, it was based on an EVM. Uh, but what we have right now is completely different. And we have been actually seeing that in hackathons uh, and, you know, from responses by actual developers. And as you all know, testing is coming up. So I'm excited to mention that you can all expect uh, a network testnet to be deployed in uh, December, so next month. Uh-huh, the network testnet is being launched next month. And this will involve secret nodes, secret contracts, and more. And just look at this, in Enigma deploying a secret node documentation. Last updated October 2nd. It details this on Nooks, or Intel's next unit of computing, a line of small form factor bare bone computer kit. But you don't need an Intel Nook to run a secret node, as long as your computer hardware is SGX compatible, which most desktops and mobile 6th generation cores and up, released since the fall of 2015, support SGX. All I have to say, my friends, are things are coming if you know where to dig. December could be a major month for three blockchain projects currently involved with making Ethereum enterprise ready. In December, Enigma Discovery Testnet and Genesis Games go live. December, iExec v4 mainnet goes live. In December, 
hopefully Chainlink staking goes live. Well, if you need something now, this was just released regarding iExec. They joined the Confidential Computing Consortium. More big names getting introduced to iExec Tech. Oh, and what about you linkers? You need a cram? How about Carl Youngblood, Senior Architect at Amazon Web Services? Spilling the beans that Chainlink is their partner. Carl is the guy in the middle. And dynamic company in that space. But what they're they're also... another one of our partners as well, actually, Chainlink is, yeah. Oh, th th thanks, Carl. Our mateys, the treasure, they be found. <laughs> Cheers, I'll see you next time.